Hi, it's Richie and Jake. Before we get started, we wanted to give a quick shout out to Matt Zell, who sent us these two pictures of a project he built. Yeah, this is the mini stomp rocket, yeah. right? Yeah, and, and the cool thing about this is Matt actually lives in Honduras. This picture is with him and his two-year-old grandson, who is a master at stomp rocket yeah. launching, apparently. <laughs> I mean, that's really cool that a little guy so young can be stomping yeah. that rocket with such force. Check out the, the blur on this one right here. Look at that. Uh, that's really cool. That the rocket shot. Yeah, that's in flight. That's yeah. really, really cool. Uh, Matt's built a, a handful of our projects. I'm really yes. grateful that he sent this one in because it's, it's, it's really cool to see how you guys are using the projects. He actually had to do a couple substitutions right. for materials there. And he, figured it out and made it his own and that's, that's just fun to yeah, see. Yeah, it turned out great. So thanks for sending it. So if you'd like to submit a picture or a video of a project you've built, we'd love to see it. Send it to this email address and we'll feature you. And with that, we'll get on to the episode. Hi, it's Richie and Jake, and we are here to bring you another preview of the next project coming up. This is going to be project number... 78. 78, folks. That's a lot of projects. That's a bunch. Yes, yeah, so that's more than 77. Yes, just slightly. <laughs> so uh, last year, or it might have been the year before, um, we did the carbide cannon, which project. was really cool. Is that 59? I don't remember. I should know that. Yeah, I should too. But uh, it was really fun. Runs on uh, calcium carbide and makes a lot of noise. A lot of noise, yeah. like law enforcement gets <laughs> yeah. in trouble kind Check of noise. Check your local laws kind of noise. So I thought it would be fun to do another cannon, but this time one that would run on alcohol because it's cleaner and a lot easier to come by. And this is not the <whistles> alcohol people. No, this is rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Yeah. Don't drink it. So I played with a lot of designs, uh, actually a whole bunch of prototypes. Um, actually, here's a picture of my workbench during process. The destruction and carnage. Yeah, lots lots of PVC carnage. So, so how many prototypes do you think you went to? Oh, I don't know, probably at least 10. And uh, this is the final version. Look at Project that. Project 78. That just looks awesome. <laughs> it's fun. So um, let me tell you how it works. All right. Like I said, it runs on alcohol and uh, it's kind of a unique design. Um, I wanted to come up with something where you didn't have to reload the fuel every time you fired it. And actually this one is a little bit different. It's designed to shoot a projectile, which is marshmallows. Now you still have to be really careful. You don't want to shoot it at people. Um, or it, animals. Or animals or yeah, <laughs> anything like that. So here's how it works. Um, there is actually a fuel sponge here. And what you do is, uh, I've put my 91% uh, rubbing alcohol in this little spray bottle. So 91%, that's essentially what you can buy at the store, out of the bottle. Yep. So no, nothing so special, you're just... Uh, I'm just, yeah, it's just 91%. Um, could you soak that, like You probably that? could, I, I just like using this spray, spray bottle. So you're gonna saturate it, but you don't want it so full of fuel that it drips. So that's ready to go, and I will push this in the back here. Now for the very first time you fire it, what you want to do is take the igniter out. And this is made um, with a piezoelectric igniter. Um, it's from a electric match from the dollar store. So for the first time you fire it, what you want to do is spray it once inside the combustion chamber to prime it. After you fire it once, you won't have to do that again. And we're also going to take the barrel off and load a marshmallow in the back there just like that and twist the barrel back on and of course it is adjustable for your trajectory and then all you have to do and i'm going to shoot it indoors i would recommend shooting it outside and i'm going to try not to take out our camera but here we go <laughs> <laughs> look at that so wow it has consumed all the oxygen inside the cannon. So for the next shot, we'll pump this six times. I guess that was six, I wasn't counting. Yeah, seven. Okay. But she always goes the extra mile. Yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> A little another marshmallow in here. 
Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that that's surprisingly loud. It is. Yeah, yeah. that's that's got a good now, pop to it. Um, the back pressure of the marshmallow in the barrel does make it a little bit louder. I'll shoot it without a projectile this time. Not quite as noisy. A little okay. bit different sound. Yeah. So with that fuel sponge in there, you don't have to keep replenishing the fuel, and that's really cool. Is mm. put a projectile in, put more oxygen in, and and shoot that, it. That is really clever. Can I say that? Thanks. The I actually saw a prototype, one of your earlier versions, mm -hmm. and it was it was a little bit different, and it required yeah, you had to spray re every refueling time. between yeah. every shot. So yeah, this one doesn't. That's a, <laughs> look at that. So how, you actually can get. I don't know. I I sort of got tired of trying how many times I could run it. I think I was in the 40, maybe 50 shot range before wow. before having to pull the, the sponge out. So you can saturate it once and fire it maybe 40, 50 rounds? Yeah, at least 30. I, I lost track, but you can shoot it quite a bit. So what I like to do to store it, I take a little sandwich bag and put over the sponge and put a little rubber band around it and then just put it back in the cannon to store it. So you leave it stored inside? Yeah, the... I do. And that way the sponge won't dry out and it'll be ready to go for the next time. So um, the, the, the items that go into this, um, already talked about the dollar store electric match for the igniter. And what I've done here is I drilled out the end and glued in a thumbtack because um, the little square end. Hard to push it, after a while. Yeah, it kind of makes your yeah. thumb sore after a while. So that that's a good improvement. And the igniter is pretty easy to build. You just take out the uh, piezoelectric unit and twist the wires together. I put a little bit of hot glue on the end so that it spaces the, the wires out. So, so um, that's, that's this. That's the igniter. That's good. Yep. The pump on the bottom here is actually a dollar store uh, ball pump. You can see it's got a little ball needle right there. So that's pretty inexpensive. The rest of it is uh, PVC pipe parts. Um, this thing here that looks like a heat sink is made out of a, this is a drain pipe fitting that I bought at Home Depot for like 90 cents. And so you know, I glue that on and drill some holes. The instructions will come with a hole template. Makes it really easy. You wrap it around and drill Just the hole. Drill right yeah. through it. So, so this is project number seventy-eight, the Sonic Marshmallow Cannon. It's uh, it's going to be a skill level six, which is a supersonic expert level project. It will take about four hours to build, uh, depending on if you decide to paint it. Um, yeah. So that's it. That's I like cool. how it turned out. It's it's really fun. I think this is going to go down in history as as one of the better received project because that is awesome. Yeah, it's that kind is of cool. Let's see if oh, it's been sitting there for a while. It might have cooled off. I don't know. What happens is once you shoot it the first time, um, things warm up inside there, including the sponge. And when the sponge gets warm, then it off gases faster. It, the, the fuel evaporates faster. Yeah, it still shoots. So um, somebody asked me an interesting question, and that is, if this thing is saturated with fuel and you ignite it, how come it doesn't just catch on fire and burn all the fuel and melt your cannon? That is a good question. The reason it doesn't is because when you fire it, you're consuming all of the oxygen inside of the combustion chamber. So there's no oxygen left for the fuel to burn. So that's that's how the sponge doesn't burn. And then, uh, you know, when the fire's out, obviously, you're going to replenish the oxygen and, and go again. So very, very. Cool. Anyway, that's Project 78. Uh, hope you had a hope you have a good time building it. It was a lot of fun to develop. And be careful with this; it can leave a welt. Yeah, won't tell you how we know that, but rumor has it that it's painful. <laughs> so yeah, you want to make sure you always point it away and have everybody behind you and nothing that's going to be hurt. Uh, check your local laws, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, definitely do that. This, this, is, uh, this is a big boy toy. And in some areas, I think you have to paint the tip of it orange or something. I don't, I don't know. So definitely check your local laws. So. so that's project number 78. Hope you enjoyed building it. I had a lot of fun developing it and putting it together. So until next time, I'm Richie with Sonic Dad. And I'm Jake. Now it's your turn to go make something cool with somebody you care about. The, the microphone might dampen it. Me. Okay, there's my six. Okay. And here it is without the barrel. Without, yeah.
<laughs> that is a funny little sound. It sounds like a mad raindrop. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel by clicking here. Or you can check out the website by clicking here and go to sonicdad.com for more cool project ideas.